We begin tonight with the latest on the little boy found asleep in a cardboard box earlier this week. Good evening, I'm Scott Levin. And I'm Mary Ellis Demler. His parents are still missing and his grandparents found out that it'll be weeks before they even get a hearing in court, let alone take him home. They did, though, get to visit with their grandson today and talked to two on your side's Emily Lampa. She spoke with them immediately after their reunion. He looks good. He looks happy. We interacted um, fine with him. He recognized us, um, hugged us, kissed us. It was a good visit. Two um, hours. That's how long these grandparents had with their grandson, Noel Van Valentin. They weren't sure how this reunion would go, considering what their grandson had gone through earlier this week, found asleep in this cardboard box on a porch, still unclear how he got there or where his parents are. We all sat in the floor. He was a little timid at first, and then he just started interacting with us as normal family, as we always do. We sat, played with him. According to the family, CPS allowed them up to three visits per week at Erie County Department. Department of Social Services in Cheektowaga, but they're hoping that won't be necessary. My plea right now is to please help me get him home. Zenaida Colon filed for custody of Noelvin yesterday, and that's when she found out the earliest a court hearing would be set is three weeks from now, October 9th. The judge was very, very um, good with us, and she said that if we can expedite this, then she will. I just got to do my part in Orlando. Cologne is flying out tonight so that Child Protective Services in Orlando can inspect her home. The family hopes once they get the all clear from Florida that Erie County can possibly speed up the process of background checks and court hearings. I'm thankful for um, Buffalo, New York for taking care of him for a few days, but I think it's time for us to head home. Thank you, thank you very much for the bottom of my heart. Right after the interview, the family left to meet with investigators about the search for Noelvin's parents. The couple and a friend they were traveling with are still listed as missing. As we learned yesterday, detectives are looking into the very real possibility that Noelvin's parents may be dead. Just hours after the toddler was found, police found a burn up car less than a mile away with human remains inside. There has been no update today from Buffalo Police on their investigation. We did, however, reach out to Child Protective Services today about Noelvin's custody case. We'll have their response ahead in your news at six. Emily Lampa, Channel 2 News.